this is part three of chapter 10. An infusion of 5% uh, dextrose water is infusing at a rate of 20 drops per minute. If the drop factor is 15 drops per milliliter, how many hours will it take for the remaining solution in the bag to infuse? Now, this is why the picture was so important and it wasn't in the previous problem because we need to be able to read this to find out how much fluid we have. If you look at this, you can see that this is a 500 milliliter bag. And so if it were filled, it would be here. And so how much do we have left? This would be 500. This is 400, this is 300. They've used 200 milliliters, so we have 300 left. Okay, so now let's look up here. This is how much we still have to give. Um, how many hours will it take for the remaining solution in the bag? Okay, so I take this 300 milliliters and I'm gonna put it over one, okay? Now it's 15 drops per milliliter, so I'm gonna to wanna to cancel out the milliliters, so I'm gonna put one milliliter in the bottom, and then 15 drops in the top, okay? So my milliliters are gonna cancel out. I'm still trying to get to hours, okay? So let's see, what have I not used? Uh, 20 drops per minute. So I want, if I cancel out drops, it'll be 20 drops for one minute. Okay, so I'm getting there. These are gonna cancel. Okay, and I still want hours. So the only unit I have left here is a minute. So there are 60 minutes in one hour. And here your minutes will cancel out as well. Okay. So do your multiplication. The only thing we have left is hours. So 300 times 15 times one times one is 4,500 over 20 times 60 is 1,200. And those are in hours, which is the same thing as 4,500 divided by 1,200, which is 4.75 hours. That right? Did I do that right? 3.75. I knew I did something wrong. Okay, so three hours, 45 minutes. That's how much longer it's going to take. All right, let's look at number 13. An IV that contains 1,000 milliliters started at 8 p.m. The flow rate is 38 drops per minute and the drop factor is 10 drops per milliliter. At what time will this infusion finish? Okay, so 8 p.m., if we go to a 24 hour time, we take that eight and we um, add 12 to it and we get find that it's 20. Okay, so we'll, we'll use that in a minute. Okay, so what we want to convert is 1,000 milliliters. And we need to get it into hours eventually. Okay, I'm going to put that over one. I don't need that information for the calculations. Of course, it's important to know what you're giving them, but not for the calculations here. The flow rate is 38 drops per minute. And the drop factor is 10 drops per milliliter. Since this has milliliters and this does here, I'm going to use that one first. It works either way, though. So let's get rid of the milliliters. I'm going to put one milliliter in the bottom and then 10 drops in the top. That's going to get rid of the milliliters. So now I just have drops. Now the flow rate is 38 drops per minute. So 38 drops and I put it on the diagonal so it cancels out for each one minute. So those cancel now and now I'm in minutes but I still want hours to figure out um, how, uh, what time to do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to hours and see where I end up with, okay? So there are 60 minutes in one hour, okay? 
So now if we multiply straight across, we get 1,000 times 10 times 1 times 1, so we get 10,000 over 38 times 60 is 2,280, and this is in hours so far. So do that division. And we get 4 hours, 0.38, so on. Okay, so this is going to finish up four hours and some change later. Okay, we need to figure out this part. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let's do this 0.38 business. 0 0.38, I'm going to use a couple more digits here so we can get a better idea. 3859. This is hours. Let's convert this to minutes so we know how many extra. If we know it's four hours and change, this is going to give us the quote unquote change. So let's get rid of one hour and multiply this by a 60 to find out how many minutes are left over. So if I do 0 0.3859 times 60, I get about 23 minutes. So this infusion is going to finish in about four hours and 23 minutes. Okay, now when is that? If it started at 8 p.m. and then it went four hours, that brings us over to midnight. Okay, so we're on the next day. So, and then this brings us to the next day. And this brings us further into the next day. So we are 23, this will finish 23 minutes past midnight. So you could write it like this, or you could write it as 12, 23 a.m. That's what time that will finish. Okay, number 14. The order reads 1,000 milliliters over eight hours. The drop factor is 10 drops per milliliter. Calculate the initial flow rate in drops per minute for this infusion. Our initial flow rate is 1,000 milliliters over eight hours. And we need to convert this to drops per minute. Well, let's get rid of the hours. One hour is 60 minutes. Okay. Hours cancel out. We're good there. Now we're in milliliters per minute. We need to get rid of the milliliters. So we look here, 10 drops per milliliter. Okay. So there are 10 drops for each one milliliter. And now on this diagonal, you can cancel those out. And so we will end up with drops per minute. If you multiply across the top, you get 10,000. And in the bottom, 8 times 60 would be 480. And these are in drops per minute. Okay, so now do 10,000 divided by 480. And you get, you get approximately 20. 0.8 drops per minute as the initial flow rate. Okay. So they would probably say this is 21 drops per minute. Okay. After five hours, there's still 700 milliliters that remain. How should we adjust the flow rate so that it will finish on time? Okay, so the initial was eight hours. We've used up five hours. So we have three hours left, right? So we need to do 700 milliliters in three hours. Okay, so if we're still going for drops per minute, and we, and we are, 
then we need to do this conversion all over again. We're gonna follow basically the same math we did here. We still need to go to minutes, so we still have one hour over 60 minutes. And the drop factor hasn't changed either, so it's still 10 drops for each one milliliter. Okay, so milliliters, milliliters, hours, and hours. So when you do the multiplication across the top, you get 7,000 over 3 times 60 would be 180, and this is in drops per minute. So calculate 7,000 divided by 180, and we get approximately 39 drops per minute. Okay, now we worked a problem similar to this. It says, if the facility has a policy that flow rate adjustments must not exceed 25% of the original rate, is the adjustment within the guidelines? Now remember, it is change over original. So I, my original was 21, my, uh, what I changed to is 39. So we do 39 minus 21 divided by 21, 39 minus 21, is 18. 18 divided by 21 is 0.857. So remember, we multiply this by 100 to get the percent change. This is approximately an 86% change, which is definitely bigger than 25. So this answer is no. This would not be allowed. Okay, one more problem, and then we're done with this chapter. For every 100 milliliters of urine output, we replace with 40 milliliters of water. The patient's urine output is 300 milliliters. What is the replacement volume? Okay, now this is a case where we have uh, milliliters in several different Forms. Sometimes you're talking about the amount of urine. Sometimes we're talking about the amount of water. So um, since urine output, let's say this is in milliliters out. And since we're going to be replacing it with water, let's call this milliliters in. Okay. So if I take the patient's urine output was 300 milliliters. And this is out. I'm going to put this over 100, uh, 1 and multiply this with, and this is our ra ratio, okay? We're, we need to cancel the output, so I'm going to put the 100 milliliters in the bottom. And then I'm going to replace that for each 100 milliliters out, I replace it with 40 milliliters in. Now, the milliliters out, cancel on both of them. You can cancel, this, is, this one's fairly easy. If I divide this by 100, I get a one. Divide this by 100, I get a three. So I end up with three times 40, which is 120 milliliters in. So we will replace that output with 120 milliliters of water.